Hello and welcome to Stop Trust Maths Key Skill video on solving linear simultaneous equations with unequal coefficients where the unknowns have the same sign. And what I mean by that is that, for example, the numbers in front of the y, they're different numbers, but they have the same sign, so they're both positive. Here we've got different numbers, that's like minus 1, that's minus 3, but they are the same sign. Now in the previous two videos on simultaneous equations, we saw how we could either add or subtract the two equations to make either the x or the y disappear, to cancel. So if we number these two equations 1 and 2, the problem is, is that if we add these two equations, we'll have 2y plus 3y is 5y, that doesn't make them disappear, we've still got that 5y there. And if we subtract the two equations, let's just say we did the second equation minus the first, we get 3y minus 2y is equal to y again, we haven't made it cancel. We need these numbers to be the same, such that either adding or subtracting them is going to make them disappear. So what we need to do is we need to scale the two equations to make either the x's or the y's the same. Doesn't matter which you pick, I'm going to choose to make the numbers in front of the y the same. Now let's think, if we can scale these two equations, what do 2 and 3 both go into? What's their lowest common multiple? Well they both go into 6. So let's make the number in front of both these y's 6. So what do I have to do to 2 to get to 6? I need 2 times by 3, and I'm going to put times by 3 here. If I'm multiplying the left-hand side by 3, I've also got to multiply the right-hand side by 3. And if we want to turn that 3y into 6y, we need to times it by 2. And if we times the left-hand side by 2, we have to times the right-hand side by 2. So I find it really helpful to write what I'm actually doing to each side of the equation because otherwise, in the next step, it's very easy to get it wrong and accidentally say times this side by 2 and this side by 3 and be inconsistent. So let's scale these equations. This side we're times it by 3. That's going to give us 9x plus 6y. And we times the right-hand side by 3, we get 30. And then the second equation, we're times both sides by 2 this time. That's going to be 8x plus 6y times the right-hand side by 2, that gives you 26. Now that's great because these numbers are now the same, and to make those disappear, well, we're going to subtract them. If we add them, 6y plus 6y is going to be 12y. That doesn't help. But if we subtract them, 6y minus 6y, then they're going to disappear, which is what we want to do. We want to eliminate one of the variables. So let's just do equation 1 minus equation 2. 9x minus the 8x is x. 6y minus 6y disappears, that's great, it's eliminated, and 30 minus 26 is 4. So hooray, we found out the value of x, it's 4, and do you remember the last step is just substitute that value that you found into either one of the equations. It can either be the, the, the original equation or the scaled equation. You'll get smaller numbers if you substitute into an original equation. So I'm going to substitute into the original equation 1. So we've got 3 times x, that's 3 times 4, so that's 12 plus the 2y, we don't know what y is yet, equals 10. And then we just need to solve this equation. So, y has been multiplied by 2, then we're adding 12 to it. We want to undo that last thing we did. We want to subtract 12 first to get rid of that 12. So subtracting 12 gets rid of that plus 12. We're left with 2y. 10 minus 12 is minus 2. Divide both sides by 2. And that gives you y equals minus 1. So we've got our value of y, and we've got our value of x, and we're done. And we could check our values by substituting these into both equations, but I know this answer is right. Right, what about the second one? Now again, the numbers in front of the a's are different, the numbers in front of the b's are different. Let's just say I want to eliminate the b's again. We could eliminate the a's if we wanted to, but I'm going to eliminate the b's. I'm going to make these values the same. So if I call these equations 1 and 2. Now if we just put a little 1 there, because that's what it effectively is, what do minus 1 and minus 3 both go into? Well, they both go into minus 3. Can you see that if we were to multiply both sides of this first equation by 3, then that minus 1 would become minus 3 and hence match that one. So let's write out the two new equations. Multiply the left-hand side by 3. We get 3a minus 3b. Multiply this by 3. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. And I'm just going to, for convenience, copy out this second equation. Now you can see that these numbers in front of the b's are now the same. So let's think what we do to the equations. In fact, I'm going to call these 3 and 4 instead of 1 and 2 to show these are different equations to these ones. Well, if we were to add them, 
what would happen? Um, well, minus 3 plus minus 3 is minus 6. That doesn't help because we've still got b's there. We want them to disappear to get 0. But what if we subtracted them? If I did minus 3b minus minus 3b, when you subtract a negative, you're adding it. So minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So these would disappear if we subtract them. Now, I'm going to do this second equation minus the first equation. The reason I'm doing it that way around is because this 4a is bigger than 3a. So when I do that minus that, 4a minus 3a is a, rather than negative a if I subtract the other way around. So we try to keep things positive where possible. So we're going to do equation 4 minus equation 3. So this minus this is a. Minus 3b minus minus 3b, that's minus 3b plus 3b, is just 0, so that cancels. And minus 7 minus minus 6, that's minus 7 plus 6, which is minus 1. So we found the value of a, and then if we just substitute it into either equation, again, I'm going to just pick this first equation here. So we've got a, which is minus 1, minus b is equal to minus 2. There's negatives all over the place here. Now, if we add 1 to both sides to get rid of that minus 1, we get minus b is equal to minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Then if we times both sides by minus 1, we just get b is equal to 1.